Hey everybody, this is Flash Timberwolf, and uh, today I just want to spend a couple minutes to uh, uh, share my thoughts and opinions on the 87th Annual Academy Awards, which recently took place. And yeah, I'm fully aware of like all the controversy and all the negativity that went into it, especially when it came to the nominees, you know, why no minorities were nominated for either Best Actor or Actress, or anything like that. But the thing is, see, I'm a pop culture nerd, see? I love movies and TV and, you know, I also like award shows, mostly, you know, anything dealing with movies or TV. I mostly follow stuff like, you know, the Oscars, uh, the Golden Globes, the Emmys, you know, stuff like that. Um, I used to follow the MTV Movie Awards, but, you know, in the past couple of years when all the Twilight movies uh, started getting nominations and started winning, you know, that's when I stopped paying attention to it. But you know, maybe I'll watch it this year, depending on what gets nominated. But I just wanted to share a few things of what I thought of, you know, basically the show in general. Uh, I thought it was a, uh, in my honest opinion, I thought it was a pretty decent ceremony. Um, I thought Neil Patrick Harris did a, an okay job hosting. You know, you know, it's very lively entertainment for one thing. Uh, one of the things I want to like, hit on mostly, uh, yeah, see some of the stuff out of the way. You know, a lot of people say like, you know, there were certain movies or songs or actors that that were recognized or were not recognized, you know, obviously the most talked about one, of course, you know, was Selma. Uh, you know, it was nominated for Best Movie, but instead, instead the award went to Birdman. Uh, hey, hey, no hate for Michael Keaton. Okay, I mean, look, he played Batman at one point, so I mean, it's tough to get mad at a guy who used to play Batman. You know, except Val Kilmer or George Clooney. Those guys could be mad at. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, I was surprised, like, like when the nominations first came out, like, over a month ago, people were shocked that no one from Selma was nominated. I mean, look, look, this is the perfect time of year for those type of movies, what you call, like, white guilt movies, you know, anything that depicts, you know, the struggle of African Americans, you know, those type of movies, they usually get recognition, because, you know, the last film to win uh, Best Picture was 12 Years a Slave, uh, of course, you know, that, that took home a few awards, but... Surprisingly, Selma only got like what, two or three nominations. Um, it, well, at least the song, you know, Glory, you know, won the Oscar for that. We'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it would have been. I mean, it would have been perfect if it won. I mean, look, it's 2015. It's the 50th um, anniversary of the famous March to Selma. It was a very pivotal uh, moment in the civil rights movement. I mean, I mean, seriously, guys, come on. And you know, obviously, people were upset about it. Uh, People didn't want anything to do with the award show, but, you know, I watched it anyway because, you know, I'm kind of an award show junkie. I need my pop culture fix once in a while. I just wanted to see what would happen. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, back to that. Uh, you know, I thought, I thought the show was decent. Uh, a lot of the music performances I thought were really good. Uh, you know, of course, they performed, um, you know, Everything is Awesome. Very, very lively performance for that. Yeah. That's another thing. I'm sorry. The song was nominated, but not the movie. Yeah, the Lego movie did not wasn't even nominated for Best Animated Picture. Uh, yeah, but Big Hero 6 took home the award for that one. Uh, I guess it's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, there were some other good ones, too. I don't pay attention to a lot of them because you know, I mostly mostly watch like the award presentations and stuff. Uh, I heard like, like, like Lady Gaga performing The Sound of Music, which sounds very unusual, but she sounded pretty good doing that. I mean, even Julie Andrews, the original actress from Sound of Music, you know, you know, gave her, you know, gave her recognition for that. I mean, she loved it, too. I mean, well, it's the 50th anniversary of that movie, you know, which won the award 50 years ago. Uh, yeah, and I was surprised when she came out on stage, she looked human. I've never seen her that way before. I was amazed. Wait, is that really her? Well, well you know, it's the Oscars, so, you know, you gotta dress more formally. Uh, but obviously, the best live music performance of, of the Oscars this year was definitely John Legend and Common performing Glory from the movie Selma. I mean, wow. I mean, if you saw it and you didn't feel anything when you saw that, then you do not have a soul. I mean, people in the audience were crying during that force. It was that moving. It was so inspirational. It was it was moving. It was emotional. It was captivating. It was 
I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I mean, go look it up. If it's on YouTube or if it's on, you know, Oscar.com, find that clip, watch it, and I dare you not to feel anything. I mean, I was moved when I saw it. It was so beautiful. It was so well done. Like the best live performance of the Oscars of all time. That has to be the best one of all time. And, you know, big congrats to John Legend and Common winning the Oscar for best song for that movie. Well, at least Selma got some recognition. Not the one it truly deserved, but it was something. Uh, and for those of you who are still upset that it didn't get the recognition it deserved, then, then go watch it. I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, if it's still in theaters, go check it out. Uh, if not, then when the DVD comes out, buy it. Remember, buy it. Don't just download it, okay? Buy it, all right? Look, people worked hard making that movie, okay? You got to show it the support it deserves that you say it does, which I truly believe it does. Uh, basically, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, you know, look, obviously, people were still upset over it. But, hey, hey, if you wanted to skip out it, hey, that's fine. That's entirely your opinion. I just wanted to sh spend a couple of minutes to share mine. So, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say about it. Uh, if you have you know, any comments, you know, feel free to leave some, but try to keep the negativity to a minimum. Okay, there's enough of it online already. Uh, but if you still need to vent, you know, your frustrations or your anger, then, hey, feel free to do so. I won't stop you, but I will block you if it gets a little too negative, all right? So that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, and for those of you in the Oscar committee, please do a better job with the nominations next year. Okay, because, you know, if your nomination list looks like the roster of a country club, then you messed up somewhere, all right? I'm just saying, all right? Anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, I'm Flash Timberwolf. Thanks for watching.